Hello everyone, I'd like to introduce to you to my mechanical iris that I finally found time to complete. Um, the first model worked fairly well but has some issues. So with the second model, uh, I kept the leaves the same. So anyone who printed it can just reuse the same pieces. It's the red part and the clear through pieces were replaced and remodeled. Uh, instead of having a single tooth to rotate I actually end up making a gear teeth all the way around so it's quite easy to just rotate mechanical all the way around. Um, I also added spacers because I wasn't sure about how much space I needed when everything's all coiled up together. Um, since the first model I was able to determine that I was actually to build spacers for it. So now it's perfect works pretty well. Uh, I just can't close it all the way. Um, it's just probably the thickness of the leaves. Um, if they need to be a little bit thinner or maybe a better shape. Um, so this way there's less pieces being used. So this way you can close all the way. Or maybe make it a little bit bigger. Um, I don't know. Really, I just made this for fun because um, I could not find anyone who ever did this with a 3D printer. So I thought it was a, a fun challenge. Uh, so that was the whole point of this. Um, but since I put on Thingiverse, it became very popular. And a lot of people made a lot of makes. And um, and what they made was the not-so-working version. <laughs> uh, so for all those people who made it, uh, I made sure that you can reuse the leaves. So this way... Those are the hardest part to make. So all you have to do is replace these three parts, print the spacers, use the same screws, and you're good to go. Um, since this is so popular, and I'm surprised that so many of you actually like it and printed it, uh, I want to actually make a, a challenge. Uh, now that we have a working 3D printable mechanical iris, I challenge you to use it for something. Um, one obvious is uh, steampunk goggles, you know, kind of design an eyepiece that you can connect to it, you know, maybe re redo the, the back and have it screw on, and then so you have a nice mechanical iris. Um, another possible thing that could probably be done, if we can improve the, the closing aspect of it, is maybe a camera cap. Put it right there. And when you want to take a photo, you just rotate it. And when you're done taking a photo, instead of, you know, on and off, just close up the screen. Uh, and you probably can control uh, how much light comes into the camera by actually doing this as well. So another thing you can try to do, make this is uh, into a camera cap. Uh, you maybe there's other great ideas you can come up with using a mechanical iris that you can 3D print. Um, or maybe you can actually improve this where I can figure out how to make this close all the way. Um, so I challenge you to do this. And just to, for fun's sake, I'm going to give like a $30 Amazon gift card to the best remix of the mechanical iris. So um, I'll put all the details on my Thingiverse page for the Mechanical Iris. And um, I really want to see you guys make something amazing. Like something that I, I didn't even think of. You know, since this is working pretty well now, it's really awesome. I kind of like showing it off to people. Like the magics of 3D printing, what can be done. So... Um, yeah, uh, happy 3D printing, and uh, I hope to see what you guys can make and give the prize to whoever makes the best thing. Uh, you know what? If you guys make a lot of amazing things, I probably end up making do make a second or third place. Um, so this is the first time I'm doing this, setting up a contest. So uh, I'll play it by ear and see how, how much uh, work gets done on this thing. Um, so thanks for viewing, and uh, the links for the Thinkiverse page should be at the bottom. Uh, thank you, and good night.